Hello, this is John Canalopoulos, uh, clinical professor of phrenology at the Grossman Medical School at NYU in New York City, New York, and medical director here in Athens at the uh, Laser Vision Amateur Surgery Center. We're seeing here a little bit of trigonometry. We're uh, defining the axis of the astigmatism. You can see the 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock in essence mark that we put on a slit lamp. Um, Two incisions, one, two, seven, five. The prosthesis is under one. Everything is times eight in speed, so I apologize for this uh, uh, spinning so fast. Uh, hydro dissection. We're going to split the lens in half, uh, and then in quarters. Uh, the signature device is my go-to device as I'm achieving the least possible energy. Um, refilling here with viscose, very key in avoiding uh, inadvertent uh, cut of the capsule, which we did see here for a second. We saw that uh, there was uh, uh, insufficient uh, fluid coming in, so I nicked the uh, cortex just a little tiny bit. I'm removing the uh, cortex with my methocellulose uh, cannula, as you can see here manually. A little flash from the past, uh, meanwhile, we're changing the uh, cassette on the signature device, putting in a new cassette because we probably had a, a problem uh, taking account with that particular cassette. But it's always good to run these uh, videos in real time. They're unedited. So you can see uh, on the top uh, uh, right uh, the team working frantically to uh, change. Uh, we're in a new cassette. We're priming the phaco tip. I have, I have achieved to remove the cortex with the uh, visco cannula, methocellulose here, always um, document the lens serial number, roll the lens in the bag, uh, bring in the uh, stigmatism at the uh, markings, always remove visco from under the lens and over the lens, meticulous removal with IA, hydrate the incisions, we have a perfect uh, case uh, that is watertight, next case again, a T4 at 14 degrees, and I go to lenses, the aspheric uh, Acrosoft Torque. Again, uh, being consistent through this whole year, I think, is one of the biggest uh, assets of an experienced surgeon because then every parameter makes sense, and you can base your results on those parameters. So my incision is always at 135. You saw me marking. You saw me using the 6 o'clock again. Uh, that looks here as if it's 12 o'clock since I'm uh, operating from the head of the patient. Again, divide and conquer with a signature device. Uh, I promise you I'm not as fast as it looks on this video, but I do keep good time. But more importantly, um, our number one priority is safety. I operate in patients in Greece with perbovar anesthesia so I can have that uh, uh, enhanced tolerance. I'm using my left hand to remove the cortex under my main incision, fill the bag with methocellulose, coming in polished posterior capsule. Here again, we're documenting the lens. Unfortunately, in Greece, there's a big milieu uh, and spectrum of lenses, so we want to always uh, document that we're using the premier lens, uh, toric interrupted lens. And I think we hold the world record 95% of our cataract surgery cases, uh, we use a toric interrupted lens, the Acrosoft Aspheric. Again, T4 at 008, uh, a little trigonometry here, marking the 8 o'clock position, the 135 for my incision, rinsing the residual uh, betadine and some mucus, uh, the three-step incision, and we've used the femto in the past to both do the capsulorexis and do the cornea incisions, but we have uh, uh, come back to manual as it seems to give much better cornea incisions. In Europe in general, the femto has been abandoned from uh, cornea incisions altogether. Some people still use it for capture axis, but we know the manual capture axis is more resilient to the uh, intraoperative uh, uh, manipulations of the surgeons that uh, we're seeing here. Uh, we uh, divided the uh, lens in four. Uh, the second half is coming kind of in block. After I refilled with viscoid, I want to underline that. Uh, busy surgeons sometimes skip that point that that's where you can nick uh, since you only have one piece and a very low viscoelastic in the bag, the posterior capsule. Polishing posterior capsule, now methocellulose, now visco. Bring the lens in, roll it in the D cartridge. Uh, great stuff here. Again, consistency is number one, coming under the lens to remove uh, the uh, residual viscoelastic over the lens. Um, 
never underestimate this part. You don't want to have a patient with a tracheal pressure of 40 the next day, hydrated in incision, very strict instructions for the patients not to rub their eyes for five days, not to shower, use makeup, but they can lift moderate weights. Different patient, better color pupil, um, and again, uh, manual uh, cervilinear capsorexis. We owe this to uh, Thomas Conan of Munich. I was still uh, amazed on the first uh, day that I saw him doing it on a video. I was a resident back then at uh, Nassau County, Stony Brook, uh, New York. Uh, and I'm so proud that I'm able to do this with uh, uh, relative good uh, skill uh, so many years later. So divide and conquer here. Uh, see how pivotal my um, paracentesis is in my Sinsky hook. I had the pleasure and honor to have met Bob Sinsky myself. Uh, and all the teachings of this uh, brilliant ophthalmologist from uh, the great state of California coming in with my uh, left hand to remove the under the main incision uh, the cortex again uh, documenting the lens placing the lens in the bag in the bag I'm right-handed and I operated I operate with my legs under the patient's bed thus this is the ultimate uh, incision site for me for both right eyes and left eyes and we've calculated that it induces 0.3 drops of astigmatism, so that is incorporated in our RL calculation here. We're going uh, finally in the lens with the rule, as we're seeing here. The incision remains at the same spot, though. Uh, the axis, I think, was 86, if I remember well. Uh, continuous curvilinear capsorexis completed, hydrodissection. We're going in with our signature uh, PECO tip and uh, to work on with divide and conquer. Uh, I'm seeing that the lens is quite soft, so I'm uh, expressing the lens, uh, putting viscose underneath, expressing the lens into the uh, anterior chamber, remove the lens again, my split with my left hand under the main incision, and uh, filling with viscoelastic microcellulose, polishing the posterior capsule. Here's our toric lens for the left eye of this lady, and we're aiming with monovision by aiming with, in all patients to be a plus half with the rule post-op, and we know that the post-op astigmatism is based on the keratometric astigmatism pre-op. We use the total cornea power. Uh, the Iron Master uh, 700, by the way, is very good at giving uh, cornea, total cornea power numbers, and we have been using this uh, the last year as well. Uh, perfect position, uh, watertight incisions, good capture of a lens at T2 uh, at a different uh, position here, 60-something uh, degrees. Second eye, right eye of that same patient, a little easier for me, I'm right-handed, so I'm not operating over the nose of this uh, very nice lady. Um, th this may s start to, to look boring, as we're seeing basically the same procedure, but these are unedited uh, um, case series from uh, the day to day. I've had the uh, uh, leisure to finish my cases and uh, uh, also tape this for you. I expressed again, the nucleus in the anterior chamber, removing the cortex, very careful to come in with my left hand and remove uh, the cortex under my main incision, fill with methocellulose again, document the lens, roll the lens, the D cartridge, our uh, magnificent Acrosoft uh, spheric uh, toric lens, under the lens, removing the viscoelastic over the lens. And our results achieving over 2020, in the majority of cases, we have seen cases see distance I'll correct the 2016 and a J3 at near makes a very strong argument of employing or pursuing EDOF lenses uh, because the quality of vision of these patients, and if we look at contrasensitivity, is uncompromised. Most of the pa these patients have better than average contrasensitivity post op. So I beg to differ with colleagues that push the envelope for EDOF, extended depth of focal lenses, or trifocal lenses because. In the population that I work with, patients do like to have good quality of vision at night, uh, uncompromised quality of vision at night, and maybe a plus one reading glass for very fine print or with low uh, dim light conditions. We just saw uh, while I'm bobbling away about uh, EDOF, trifocal, and uh, spheric monofocal lenses, uh, another very uh, precise uh, uh, FACO IOL with toric and tracheal lens under over uh, viscoelastic removal, hydrating the incisions. Uh, key thing here, the compliance from the patient. 
uh, watertight incision, uh, T6 here, quite a bit of astigmatism, so I marked that patient myself. You can see he's a little bit older. He has a denser cataract. Um, uh, he also has, again, cerule astigmatism. It, it goes with the days. Usually, we're with the rule or oblique. It looks like today everybody was against the rule. Uh, a little tougher to visualize the uh, uh, capsorexis here. And again, many thanks to uh, Thomas Conan, uh, uh, a very esteemed colleague and friend from Munich, Germany. Uh, divide and conquer here um, at 60 energy. Uh, nevertheless, I've used a total of uh, 60 joules in this case, which I think makes the argument that this technology is really uh, very competitive to anything that I've seen uh, after a white star. Uh, with AMO, now J&J &J was the first one who gave pulsed uh, uh, ultrasound and was able to reduce energy. And our work as well, we're seeing here rolled lens and position. Our work with the nanosecond laser back in the late uh, 90s that uh, we showed finishing cases with four joules that pushed the FACO uh, uh, industry to reduce FACO energy. And hopefully we have healthier and better corneas. This is all I had. I hope this was not... Uh, uh, too fast, uh, too short for you, uh, a complete uh, phacal cataract case. I saved the last case the, as a separate case, which you should see. It's a patient that we had placed a uh, uh, phacic IOL back in 2007 for very high myopia, and I will remove the lens and also do cataract surgery uh, now almost uh, 18 years later. Thanks so much for your attention. This is uh, John Kalopoulos from Athens, Greece, signing out.